Do you want to make your own IR remote control based electronic lock door opening system? Well, if your answer is yes, then you should watch this video from start to the very end because at the end of this video, you will be able to design your own IR remote based electronic lock control system. In this video, I will cover the maximum things from designing to programming and testing. So before we start working on this project, first let me show you a preview of what we are going to make today. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Arduino programming, PLC Ladder Logic programming, SCADA application designing, SOLIDWORKS, Visual Basic application designing and programming, from microcontrollers to send and receive data, Android, security systems, robotics, image processing and much more, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. Welcome back and let's start working on the IR remote control based electronic lock control system. First of all, we will find the IR remote key codes. Later, we will use these key codes to control the electronic lock. So the components that we will be needing for finding the key codes are we will be needing Arduino Uno as you can see on the screen. Here is the Uno board and we will also be needing this sensor which uh, you can easily get from any electronic shop and the pen outs are this is exactly the same sensor that we will be using today and uh, if you look closely uh, you can see that uh, it has the same pin numbers G R and Y so G is uh, the ground and R is the 5 volt and yellow is the signal so G is the ground the R pin is the 5 volt and the Y pin is the signal and we will also be needing the IR remote control so we have these three different types of remote controls find the codes of uh, each remote controller and uh, you will be needing also a USB cable so for uploading the program and a laptop for the programming so this is the uh, pinouts and uh, which is equal to ground R voltage and Y signal and before you start the programming you will need a uh, a library which you can find from here on the github i will also provide the link in the description so after copying the folder you will just uh, copy that folder and paste that into libraries i have already downloaded and paste that so as you can see the ir remote and now let's open the basic program so before we upload the program let's first connect a 5 volt so connect this with 5 volt black with a ground and yellow with the pin number 11 so 8 9 10 and 11 it is a very simple program the first is the header file the ir remote h and hash include which is the preprocessor directive integer receive pin is equal to 11 so that's why the yellow wire is connected with the pin number 11 of the Arduino you know the ir receive the receive pin which is defined over here is 11 and the decode results as each and every Arduino program has at least two functions the white setup and the white loop so there's the white setup serial dot begin uh, we do it and this is the uh, baud rate so this activate the serial communication and IR receive enable just start the receiver and the wide loop if IR receive dot decode. So the, the, so the meaning of this line of code is that, that check if there is data coming from the IR sensor then what to do just take the hex file and print it on the serial monitor IR receive dot resume and receive the next value and we have a delay of 100. So now let's upload the program. Oh, 
open the serial monitor and now let's first uh, use this remote controller and see so now for this uh, the this uh, this I'm pressing one and this is the code the FP two A D five. So what we can do we can just simply copy this code and and paste it over here and then we can find the code for the two and so on. Let's do that. Again, using this remote control press 2 and now this is the code for the 2 and as you can see if I press 1 you can you can see this is the same code FB the uh, FB 2 AD 5 and for the 2 you can see FB this same code so we can copy that copy and paste now let's use another remote control and see so we can press any key and find its code let's for example this time we press this one so this is the a ok button and and its code is fb 69 f i was pressing ok now let's use this remote control i'll put this one over here and i will use this remote controller over here and also putting this so let's press one and see what's the value for this remote one is equal to ff2 ad5 and the two is equal to this one and on this key uh, remote controller the ok button is equal to this code now uh, in, in the next part I will be using the power and the play button so let's find the codes for these two buttons and then we will use these two values in the in, in the next part so as you can see so the code is so as you can see that the EF3B295B and for the play now this one as you can see these are the codes so you can just simply copy the course from here and then you can use these course in your uh, uh, programming this is SPDT single pole double throw 12 volts relay and this is the only information I have for now and I don't know anything else except its schematic symbol which is just in front of me the coil pins common normally close normally open but I have no idea which one is the common pin I don't know which one is the common pin which one is normally closed normally open and which one are the coil pins this is all the information I have and using this information I have to design the driver circuit so let's start with finding its pins and let's use a digital multimeter now here's a digital multimeter and you can see I've already set this uh, continuity and I can check the continuity okay now this is so now first I have to find the normally close normally open and common pin so let's let me select any pin you want you want to start with for example I'm just touching it over here let's check this one no it's not it's not yeah it's so now now there is a beep sound so it means one of these two pins is common and one is normally closed but which one is which now we have to find this one 
but let's make a box and write the information so Now we have these two pins which are connected and now the remaining three pins this one, this one and this one. So maybe these two are the coils or these two are the coils. So now we have to find the two coil pins and the one normally open. So let's start. So as you can see in the DMM it's given us 0.394k. 394k so r is equal to 394k let's check once again and yes 0.394k okay and we know that this is a 12 volt relay and formula we will be using is V is equal to IR and I is equal to V by R so 12 volt divided by 0.394 K let's use a calculator and 12 divided by 0.394 which is equal to I is equal to 30 milliamps so this is the amount of current we will be needing for energizing the relay now from this value we can find out the transistor so any transistor whose collector current is greater than this value can be used to control this relay so in my case uh, I will go for a transistor whose part number is 2N2222 so this is uh, the NPN transistor a general purpose NPN transistor and this transistor is easily available in any electronic shop so now let's make the circuit diagram so this is the these two are the coil pins and this one is the common and this is normally closed and this is normally open so as uh, we will be controlling this uh, relay with the help of microcontroller so let's add a transistor Ten k and this side will be connected with plus 12 volt and this is 2 and 2 2 2 this transistor will be used in saturation mode this is the collector this is the emitter and base so any NPN transistor for example if 2 in 22222 uh, transistor is not available then you can use any other general purpose NPN transistor whose collector current is greater than the 30 milliamps so just go for that and we can add a diode over here for the back EMF protection so this can be one in four zero zero seven now we will start uh, now we will make the simulation and write an Arduino program to check whether this uh, circuit is working or not so let's open the Proteus and start signing so while the Proteus is open click on the pick from libraries button and write or video you know so just we will need this one and a resistor we will also need a relay click OK right click and rotate so now these are the pins these are the two coil pins one and two and this is the common pin and this is the normally close and normally open and it's a 12 volt relay 
Okay, now we will also need two in two to two transistors, so two and two to two, which is an NPN transistor. Double click and add and let's trigger it a little bit and we also need a resistor we will connect this to pin 13 of the Arduino connect this one this one here now we will need some power terminals so click on the terminals mod button and select here power double click and write plus plus 12 volts now select ground okay now let's also add a lamp so click on the component mode click on the button which is the pack from libraries and write lamp animated light bulb so and also this one and let's keep this side ground and power plus 12 volts okay now let's start the uh, programming let's save this first e chip tutorials relay driver and this is the simulation now let's open the Arduino you know and write programming so integer relay equal to 13 and wide setup and wide loop so pin mode relay is output let's keep the relay off by default so digital write relay low and let's write a very basic program in which we will turn on and turn off the relay after each and every second so digital relay high delay 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second digital right relay is low and delay 1000 and let's compile this Now, as you can see we have a hex file so copy this link press ctrl C on the keyboard double click and paste this over here and click OK now let's play this now as you can see so the the, the circuit that we have designed is working just fine this is 2 in 2 to 2 transistor this is a relay 10k resistors we have added 10k resistor because it's a bjt a bipolar junction transistor and it's a current control device so that's why we're just adding this uh, 10k for the current limiting so this is the electronic lock that uh, i will be using today and well actually i don't need this so i will cut this and connect a dc socket so that i can easily power this up using a 12 volt adapter so i'll cut this solder these wires and uh, and for this i will be needing a cutter and a wire stripper 
and the white strip is optional if you can remove the insulation uh, with the help of the cutter so once uh, I am done with the soldering for this then I will be back and then we will start soldering for the relay driver circuit so now let's connect the DC socket You know, DC socket is connected, and now let's check this. Okay, this is uh, 12 volts, and and it's working just fine. Now let's start the relay driver circuit. It's a Vera board, and it is an SPHT relay. Now let's solder this. This is an NPN transistor and the leftmost pin <coughs> is the emitter, the middle one is the base and the rightmost is the collector. And this is a 10K resistor and I'm connecting this with the base. Okay, now the next step is now I will connect the collector of the 2 in 2 2 transistor with the coil pin of the relay and the emitter I will connect with the ground. So once I do these connections then I will be back and explain this. So okay, now all the wires are connected. This is a 10K resistor which is connected with the base of 2 in 2 2 2 transistor and this is the amateur and this one is the collector so as you can see the collector is connected with one side of the relay coil okay and the other side is connected with the positive and the ground wire is connected with the amateur and there is another wire which will be connected with the Arduino ground and this wire is coming from here and which will be connected to pin 13 of the Arduino. Through this wire we will turn on and turn off this relay. And there are two more wires, this one and this red wire, the blue and the red wires. So blue wire is connected with the common of the relay and this one is connected with the normally open of the relay. So we will connect so these are the two wires to which the electronic lock will be connected. So now I will do the interfacing. So as you can see on the screen, this is the complete circuit diagram. This is the electronic lock and this is the relay driver circuit. And this is the IR sensor. So let's start with the IR sensor and its connection with the Arduino Uno. The R pin of the IR sensor is connected with the 5 volt and the Y pin of the IR sensor is connected with pin 11 of the Arduino and the G wire is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino. And on this side we have a relay driver circuit which this is a 10K resistor and 2N2222 NPN transistor. The emitter is connected with the ground and the collector is connected with one side of the relay coil and the other side is connected with 12 volt as it's a 12 volt relay and now as you can see the door lock which is the electronic lock is connected in series with the relay so one one side of the electronic lock is connected with the normally open and the common pin of the relay is connected with the ground and the other pin of the electronic lock is connected with 12 volts so when we turn on the relay 
the common pin of the relay is connected with the normally open so the path is completed the 12 volt coming from here and here and the path is completed and electronic lock turns on so this relay will be uh, controlled with the help of pin number 13 when we give 5 volts on the base of the transistor it turns on and so it turns on the relay so I've already showed you this in the simulation part so this that's all this is a complete circuit diagram so this is the final circuit all the components are interfaced as per the circuit but let me show you once again that okay now the, the the VCC pin which is the R pin of the sensor is connected which is the red wire and it's connected with the 5 volts of the Arduino and similarly the ground one is connected with the ground of the Arduino and the other wire which is the Y wire the Y wire is connected with pin 11 of the Arduino this is the relay driver circuit and this is connected with pin number 13 so this relay will be used to control the electronic locks so this is a 12 volt electronic lock and we will be using two power supplies the one over here which will power up the electronic lock and the other one will be used for energizing the relay so it's a very simple circuit I've already explained everything and now let's start the programming and then finally we'll do the testing this is the cord So hash starting with the hash include ir remote dot h. It is a header file and hash include is a it's a preprocessor directive. Integer receiver is equal to eleven as I've told you that the uh, signal pin will be connected with pin number eleven so that is the receiver and the ir receive receiver so this is exactly so receiver is equal to eleven so this is eleven and the decode results results. So integer LED is equal to 13 and the electronic lock is connected over here. And in the previous tutorials I've told you that uh, each and every Arduino program has at least two functions which is the, the white setup and white loop. So the white uh, setup is executed only one time or runs only one time. So first we activate the serial dot begin and 9600 is the baud rate serial dot print line and then ir dot just starts the receiver and uh, then pin mode led as led is an output device and we have to control this through the uh, ir remote control and by default we keep this led in the off state wide loop which runs forever it has infinite uh, iterations so if IR received dot decode results, this instruction simply means that check if uh, there is any signal from the IR. What to do? Run this function and IR received dot resume means and uh, then receives the next value. Wide translate IR. Now this is the switch results dot value and k and these are different cases. So if for example now these cases will be uh, increasing if for, for example I'm using only two buttons now this is the power and the play so I have just only two cases you can see one and two if I'm gonna be using all these buttons then I'm go gonna be uh, doing the cases for for each one so if you want to use 0, 1, 2, 3, then you will be needing more cases. And as you can see, these are exactly the same values which I told you that the power button has a value of EE. And you can see these are exactly the same. The only difference is the 0x uh, which we use in the Arduino for the hex notation. So this is a hex value. And over here you can see that 6, 9c and this is exactly the same and we have added only 0x which is for the hex so now what's happening over here when you press the uh, when you press the power key it will receive this one and when uh, the receiver finds this value it will uh, print power off on the serial monitor and also turns off the LED if it was turned on and if it receives this value it will uh, print print on power on on the uh, terminal and uh, uh, turns on the LED and we are using 1000 milliseconds which is a one second delay 
So 